What's going on guys? Welcome to week number one of our Mountain West Dynasty. In this one we've got Honolulu College taking on the Boise State Broncos in Boise State. Guys, can't wait to bring this footage to you. It's finally here, the Mountain West Dynasty. We've been dying to play it. We've been dying to bring it to you and I know you guys have been dying to see it. To finally all, see it play on the field. We're all football starved. It's been about a month since we posted any actual football content. So we're excited. Yeah, all the talk. No more talk. All the hype, all the off-season stuff with the American Dynasty, and all the preseason stuff going on with this Dynasty, but now it's finally here. So we're ready to kick it off at so, Broncos Stadium. Yep. Go ahead and talk about Honolulu we'll College. We'll introduce the Honolulu College Islanders. Like we said in the intro, they do kind of like the run and shoot, sort of like uh, Hawaii is used to look, and so they're going to throw the ball a lot. So we're going to have some long games in store, some high scoring, hopefully. And this is the quarterback here, Tyler Stratton. Whole offense runs through him, along with Romulus Suggs. Oh, nice catch. Who we see right here for 21 yards. Big catch. So he's a do-it-all type of back. He's a kickoff returner, punt returner, Yeah, he, run the football. He'll either line up at running back or they'll use him in the slot. So, And then Tyler Stratton likes to sit back there and sling it around. If he makes accurate throws, he should be yes. pretty good. He's two for five right now, 25 yards. They're going to go for it on fourth and six. Another thing about this team, they're aggressive. They don't like to punt. So they will do anything to stay on the field. And then almost gets picked off. So right. two he straight throws. Didn't have a lot to work with on that play, so he just so, tried something. So who are you taking? Are you taking Tyler Stratton or are you taking Paxton Murphy in real uh, life? If these guys are in real life, who are you Paxton. taking? Yeah. yeah. Tyler Stratton is a little bit under... Paxton Murphy. So yeah, see the defense here gets a sack. We'll see how they play. They're kind of a wild card entering this year. Usually when I play with this team, the defense isn't that strong. Uh, so we'll see how they do in this game. Madison takes this ball right up the middle for a nine yard rush. Fourth and nine now. They're gonna punt the ball away. So Honolulu gets the ball back, and then Tyler Stratton doing what he does best, finding open receivers. And we get Brad McLaurin on an eight yard catch. He's a captain on this team. Now, and I said also, the receivers have shown a propensity to struggle with catching the football at times. We'll see if that comes into play later today. Well, you've always had issues with McLaurin. Yes. See, if he sucks, there's no issue. <laughs> you just toss it to him, he goes for 19 yards. Yeah. The guy's an absolute playmaker. So, number 25, looking to do some damage. You've got an audible here to go to Suggs and look at this deep pass to Romulus Suggs hey has got it in bounds. <laughs> touchdown, 33-yard wow. touchdown reception. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I don't, I don't know how Stratton saw him there. I don't know how that play was executed, but look at that. Look at that. Beauty. Got the one foot in bounds, and then Stratton's like, yeah, yeah, I expect it. He, he knew it. Look at this play again, guys. Just a little bit of a replay here. Nice little... Spiral there, but look at that toe tap. Strike a pose. <laughs> Gotta love it. Honolulu goes up seven to nothing, and then we get Boise State on offense and first and ten. Cedric Wilson with a ten-yard catch, second and inches now. A little play action and a missed tackle here. Richardson goes for 13. First and ten now. They're doing a hurry-up offense here as Boise State, and look at that. Kapula, ahi ahi Kapula with the interception. And a pretty good return there. Get it, gets it to uh, midfield. So he absolutely baited Ripian. Ripian, yeah. Ripian. So that was a good play on defense. Obviously, turnovers are going to be big for this team down the stretch. They're going to need some. Here's Suggs on a carry up the middle, and look at this guy, man. Easy nine yards. Got that burst going. Just easy. And you know what the thing is, guys? Honolulu College's uh, offensive line I don't think is elite. Right. They're, they're okay. Not, yeah. He's just finding open open lanes. Stratton trying to find something, trying to make something happen. It's not going to happen, though. Fourth and one. Well, we're that's the situation that's forced. Yep, we're 0 for 1 so far. And fourth down. Let's see what Stratton's got cooking here. Dropping back. He's got McLaurin with a 10-yard catch down the sideline. So he's shaking it off like it's no big deal either. So this team is all business. Yeah, that was pretty – I mean, I don't know if it was a tight window, but it was a tough look. He got it to him, though. First and 10, looking deep, and actually the defender, it went right through his 
he was trying to deflect it and it went right through him and Van yep. just dropped There's it. There's the drop. Just completely dropped it. And then Suggs drops this pass and what, I mean, what a throw. Yeah. That throw should never have been made, but he put it right where Suggs needed if it. If you're going to make that throw, that's the only place you could put put the ball. So Kicker comes on, gets this three points, so Honolulu's up 10 to nothing, and look at Madison here. Wow. Wow, 25-yard rush. Yeah. And this is, uh, this is going to become a problem in this game here. Look at Madison again, guys. Finding holes, weaving his way through traffic, 13 yards again. So 28 no, 38 yards on two rushes in those plays. And then look at, how do you say that name? I, I, I'm going to say Dahans. 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 Alec Dahans. 28-yard catch there. Looks like they were selling out for the run. Sold out for the run here as Ripien gets sacked. Field goal. That, yeah, Darby, I think, made the tackle. He had another sack, too, earlier in the game. Field goal is good. 10-3 to is the score. And then we got Jace McQueen. First appearance. 11 yard reception. Take it over from here. Yeah, McQueen is kind of the guy that they, they're going to like to throw to. Here's Aaron Camellia, first name, first time we've said his name. Takes a nine yard carry there, bouncing off tackles. He's kind of the uh, kind of a bigger back. They like to pound it with him. Suggs is more uh, versatile. And here we go. Drop by Craig right into the arms. This guy was giving us problems all day. That's uh, Mabea, Tyson Mabea. And there's those dreaded drops. Again, I mean, Van and Craig are seniors, and they cannot catch a football. That pass needs to be completed. Yeah. Like, there's no reason to uh, have that go through your fingertips and get intercepted. I mean, that's insane. That's crazy. Not on Stratton right there. Nope, definitely not. But it's going to go down as his fault in the books. Third and 12 here. Big pass play, and then Kapula. Actually, that's Roland. Kapula and Roland were there, but... Roland makes the deflection. Yep, good defensive play there. Second and ten, Stratton rolling. And he sacked. He goes down. Seven yard loss, gonna force third and seventeen. And that's, that's good coverage for Boise on that play. That's Nobody. the boy right there. Was it Maya, the guy who made that interception? No, it's Mavea. Mavea. Stratton on third and seventeen finds Michael Craig for twenty six yards. So he's trying to make up for it. I would say it's good stuff. First and ten. Stratton hands off to Romulus Suggs, and he's going to get stopped at the one yard line. Of course. <laughs> Nothing new. Second and one now. Suggs going to get the call here on a handoff. Dial it up. And look at that push. He's in. Got well, a little awkward landing there. He didn't stick the landing, but. I was trying to figure out that little pause right there. I was trying to figure out if you were going to hike the football or not. Yeah, we're just trying to milk the clock. We don't want Boise State to score. You know, more time is better for them. So 17 to three, and then nice pass here to Mouster, Mooster, Mooster. Monster, Monster. Monster. 17 to three right now, and Boise's trying to get themselves into the end zone. And look at this! What is that? <laughs> what is that? Jake Rowe with a touchdown with 13 seconds left in the second quarter. But guys, look at this replay. The laws of physics no longer apply. I don't think that they saw that. So let's go right into the replay. Slow motion time. And just check out Ripien's arm slot. Yeah, can, I, I don't. I, you couldn't see it from there either. But let's slow it down. Let's slow it down real quick and just take a look, guys. You'll be absolutely amazed that this even happened. Tell me how this is possible. Yeah, uh, Einstein was wrong. He threw it towards us. His arm went towards us, but he threw it down the side. Off the back of his hand, over the back of his head. And Boise State in Supersim missed the extra point. Serves him right. Yes, so 17-9, to nine, and then Ripien. I mean, the CPU loves to do that kind of stuff. Loves to get Quarterback back. Quarterback scramble, yeah. So a good rush there by Ripien. And now we got third and one for Boise State. And with a little option play here, not going to get anything. Zero-yard rush. Fourth and inches, Wilkerson comes in and makes that tackle. They're going to go for it on fourth and inches, and do they get it? They get it, and they get it big. Yep. But good tackle, good touchdown saving tackle, leaves you another chance to stop them. Yep. Sold out for the run on that play, but cut it to the outside. So, Good sack. Oh, what? No, no sack. No sack. 
And then Danes is in again for another touchdown. It's his second on the game. So Ripien, guys, is just like, dare I say it, Ripien up the Honolulu College defense. He's, he's balling out. Going for two here, and he was he was trying to juke his way out of that pressure, but just couldn't get it done. Honolulu gets a stop, finally. McQueen with another reception. That's 10 yards there. He's got five for 47 so far on the game. Little reception here by McQueen yet again. So he's got six more yards to his total. That's six for 53 now. It's going to be fourth and one. And kicker da -da -da -da. comes on and gets it oh. through. Just bounces it through off the right upright. 20 to 15. It's kind of a weird score, but look at this play. That's a great play. Usually the computer um, completes that pass, but really good to uh, get that deflection there. So McLaurin gets another catch. So he's – oh, and he fumbled the football. Covered by Craig. Luckily. Barely. Luckily. So Tyler Stratton at 258 yards at this point, second and eight now, and then a wide open – uh, that was McQueen. Oh, is McLaurin's number one? Yep, he didn't read that. Stratton rolling out. What's he got? Whoa! <laughs> Can get the first down, an eight-yard rush. There's that want to. He's the leader, man. Yeah, he doesn't have the best speed in the world, but he definitely can get it done. And then look at Suggs just using that speed to burn the linebacker as as the defender and then dive into the end zone. So a touchdown for Suggs, 27-15. to 15. They're up 12. Start of the fourth quarter, little play action, little pump fake, and then look at how is this possible? <laughs> Touchdown, AJ Richardson, 63 yard catch. So Ripian now three scores for 239. And look at the replay here, guys. Yeah, the defender goes for his legs and he just like blows right through him. Look at this. Like a ghost. What? What? I, he's like the guy for he's like the Terminator, like the liquid terminator. He just goes through the the <laughs> gate or whatever happened there. I don't know how that's possible, but good payback there with a little juke move by Camellia. Camellia. He's I'm, back. I, just like you said, man, I'm going to need the dictionary to get this thing going here. Four, but look at grabs. this little juke. Look at that little juke. Just juked him right out of his jock strap. Absolutely love it. And then look at Jensen, the backup running back. He's like the third stringer. Third stringer, yeah. So he gets into the game. First rush on the game for 13 yards. And then now it's first and goal, and you're giving they bring it to in, the fullback. They brought in the fullback out of the pistol, and that's why they have him on this team, you know? Hawaii, they do the, or Honolulu, they do the run and shoot, but so fullbacks don't get a lot of action here. Good so. sack there by, who is that? Who is that? Bo Ferguson. Ferguson. First time we've seen him. First time, yeah, first time we called his name. Third and two, and then Camellia Ooh. come in and try to, you've been trying to do that. <laughs> Been trying to do that for months. We'll see. Trying to jump over somebody. We'll see if we do it this year. And then Camellia is going to get a first down here. Boise State is now out of timeouts, guys. So this game is over. Looks like it. Pretty much. And then we got Camellia looking for the end zone to just try to tack it on here. Try to get more points. Be a good showing for the BCS voters. Uh, good win on the road here. Yeah, I wasn't happy with the 12 point win. No, so, you got to get more. You might say that's rubbing it in. I felt like I needed one back for that touchdown pass before halftime. So, all right, guys. So <laughs> Honolulu College goes on the road and gets their first W on the season on the back of Tyler Stratton and Romulus Suggs. It was over overall a good team effort. He had some defensive sacks. He had some good plays on offense. It was it was good. It was a good game. Um, Happy with the defense. I was worried about that. I knew the offense would get their points. Um, after kind of a slower start. But, yeah, the defense, I was happy with them in this game. But that guy needs a shout-out because he had a heck of a game against yes, did. Honolulu College defense. So Suggs, eight catches for 116 yards receiving. Had a couple scores. So he was uh, he was doing good. And now look at, good look at that play, guys. I just <laughs> want to show you again, that's our play of the game. They had their play of the game. we got to get that Ryan Moody guy that – Post all the Madden videos. He's got to see that. Yeah, I think we're gonna give him a shout out. So Ryan, if you saw that, I've, obviously you don't do NCAA 14 videos, but dude, it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> we it's have to, in this game. We got to deal with it too. <laughs> Just the bogus of scripted play calling and all this goofy physics stuff. So, guys, let's get my game underway with the Santa Fe State 
Roadrunners against the New Mexico Lobos. I don't know what the coach is doing. He's like 70, 80 years old over there doing like signs and stuff. Eh, I it don't looked, know. It looked, it looked weird. The guys are probably looking at him like, yeah, uh, okay, coach. What are you saying, coach? Okay, coach. But, so. guys, enough with the joking. Joking aside here, let's talk about the Santa Fe State Roadrunners. So this is a big rivalry game for them. We're at home. It's a good time to really seal uh, a W here against an interstate rival. Yep. And Santa Fe, has a, they have a pretty balanced offensive scheme, I would say. Well, they love to throw deep, too, with Wes Ricketts. I and mean, look at that. Roy Calico, one of their best receivers, just burning that defensive back for a big catch there. Wish that Ricketts probably threw it a little bit higher, a little bit right. higher, get him some more uh, running room. A little screen pass here to try to get Calico that touchdown, but it's just not going to happen. Ricketts five wide on this third and goal, changing things up, trying to get that touchdown. He's got all day to throw, and then now he's rolling out and unable to get a throw off. It's going to be fourth and goal now, so Brady comes on out. Kicks his field goal, so we're up three to nothing. So good stuff there by Santa Fe State. Just wish we would have capitalized on a touchdown. But Vincent and Espinoza gonna come in and absolutely stuff the running back. It's gonna be third and yeah, gotta, seventeen. Got to stop that uh, triple option this and then week. Look at this, just into triple coverage, and Cronin comes up with the interception. This guy had one heck of a game. I will just say that guys i mean he's got some good hands yeah he's just a good overall safety he really is he, he plays zone really really well and then look at this pass here to vincent rose another deep bomb by ricketts and they're just not letting up they're using that speed on the outside and ricketts is just using that big arm and that big body that's why yeah Santa Fe. Deep. i mean their offenses can be dangerous when they get the ball rolling on the ground and then when they go over the top they can try to burn you with their speed that wide receiver so and they can go under because uh brew baker that running back is he can do it all he can yep. receive he can run he can do everything look at montero with and then that. yeah jose montero gets a nice catch on an in route so it's gonna be 10 to nothing santa fe state and then an, another run to the outside but vincent gets fooled but they're gonna make a stop here it's gonna be fourth and three the punt team comes on out ricketts gets the football back and then we're going to Calvin Culver, who, in my mind, is a very underrated receiver in this offense. He gets a lot of punt returns and kickoff returns, and he's a really good returner, but if you get him in open space, watch out. Second and nine, Ricketts dropping back. He's got Brubaker open at Y, but instead he's going to go deep for Vincent Rose, and he makes a catch in the end zone diving. Ricketts has got a problem with this deep ball. He's just leading these guys a little bit too much, but... At least it's, they're catching it. Yeah, they they can fly. These receivers can absolutely fly, literally and figuratively. I mean, look at that. Diving into the end zone, making a catch. 17 to nothing now. And the defense for Santa Fe State going to come through yet again. Double coverage throw that time. The ball gets dropped by the receiver. So Santa Fe State gets the football back. little read option here to Brubaker, and he's going to get 10 yards. They're going to yeah. give him 10 yards on that. Yeah, our, uh, the stats went out in this game. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that. I'm so excited about talking about it. but Right. Yeah, they, uh, I don't know, this game is like starting to glitch out on us a little bit. So, trying to figure out why that happened. So, we're trying to go off of player numbers and everything. Right. Yep, we will have the stats at the very end of the game to show you guys uh, what happened. But look at Ricketts again, yeah. looking for Ooh. Brantley. And so, another receiver just absolutely burned the Lobos secondary. So, but yeah, guys, so the statistics, I have no idea where Ricketts is at right now. I have no idea where Calico or Brubaker, I don't know anything about these right. guys right we'll, now. We'll show them at the end of the game. Let's just say this they're having a good game. Oh. I think we can tell that much. That wasn't a very good throw. Second and eight turns into third and eight off the incompletion. And then Ricketts has got all day, and Calico just drops this ball. He had him. He had another. He had a touchdown right there. Yeah, he can't catch everything. <laughs> Brady comes on, kicks his field goal. It's gonna be twenty to nothing at the half, guys. 
So Santa Fe playing really well on defense, had some missed opportunities on offense. It could it could have probably been a lot higher of a score than it is right now. Look at Cronin again coming through with a great defensive play there just to deflect the football on that deep pattern. And then look at Ricketts. He can run too a little yeah. bit. Six foot five guy. Yeah, He's I mean, got a little mobility. New Mexico, not really the best team down 20 oh points. Oh my goodness. There it is again. Montero with the deep play action catch here. And Ricketts yet again just bombing it over top of them. They can't stop it. Yeah, they're letting the receivers get behind them. I don't know what you can do because your receivers are faster than their DBs. So Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be there all day. Looked like a fumble, but Ricketts, uh, apparently his arm is moving forward. So the Tom Brady tuck rule applies here. The fourth and four field goal is good. It's going to be 23 to nothing. So we are late in the third quarter, guys. And Brubaker looking to kill this clock in a big run there. That's I'm going to say that's about 13 or 14 yard rush. Yep. So he's uh, been big. He's a little shifty guy back there. Yeah. He's, look at this run. He's going to get about seven. No, about six. Second and four now. So we're just looking to kill the clock, guys. There's no reason to keep throwing on him other than padding the stats. And then Brubaker shifty again. Going to get up the middle for a first down. So just move the chains and kill the clock. That is the strategy here. Definitely, yeah, good game by the Roadrunners. I mean, it's not, they're trying to ice it here, but uh, I think they're going to get it, would you yeah, say? Yeah, barring a absolute meltdown slash miracle for New Mexico. Who can't throw the football, so. Nope. Barry comes on, that's the backup running back. That's his first action on the game. So he gets a run up the middle for a first down and then Brubaker comes on again and he's going to get five ah, fourth, and, fourth inches. and inches so guys um we're going for it why not we're going for it plus territory fourth and inches and then we give the ball to van he's going to get in there for a touchdown that's the Lonnie Van. so we are up 30 to nothing you might think that's rubbing it in but we had five minutes left in the game like you, you gotta you gotta score when you when you can so big pass there Going to be caught, and it looks like the linebacker ran into the uh, defensive back, so he had, a, he had a couple extra yards on that play. And then here comes quarterback. Didn't see his name. Jordan. Jordan? Yep. Okay, you know you know him. Second goal, and then look at this little option here. Missed tackle, missed tackle. Same animation. Wow. Same animation by the defenders for Santa Fe State and they're going to get their first points on the game. Look at that. <laughs> Same animation just couldn't take them down. What so, are the odds? Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So we ended up tacking down a, another touchdown, guys. So it's going to be 37 to 7. Big win. Yeah. Big win. So I think Ricketts was impressive. Wide receivers were imp impressive. Brubaker, impressive. Defense, impressive. So yeah, you can't really all around. Go. Yeah, I mean, good game. You can't smack talk the Roadrunners in this one. So it's pretty funny, though, guys, that they're probably the second worst team in right. this conference, and then they just absolutely dominated this opponent in a rivalry game. Now, it is it is New Mexico. Like, I got to give you guys that and just let you know that. But right. Ricketts player of the game, but we didn't see the numbers because it's NCAA 14. And it's glitched up the wazoo. But we got you covered because we're going to go to the player stats and check them out. So Ricketts, 14 of 20 for 274 and two scores. That's pretty dang good. And Brubaker, I didn't realize he had that many attempts. 31 carries. Wow. Holy cow. I would have gotten Barry involved had I known that. But also getting involved in the passing game. Rose, 3 for 90 with a score. Montero with a score. Calico, with 2 for 43. So I'd like to get him a little more involved. One sack by Booth. Espinoza had one tackle for loss. Vincent had two tackles for losses. So defense chipped in really nicely, guys. So, yeah, we uh, we had a pretty good week. You yeah, I'd I. say so. Yeah. yeah, Honolulu College had a good week. Santa Fe State had a good week. We're going to find out, though, guys, how the rest of the conference did on Saturday. And we got, well, we had two games today, and then we're going to have three games on Saturday for you guys. And here's the ones that we're going to cover. So we've got Texas at Rocky Mountain State, number 23 Texas, going to Montana. And then we got Arizona at Multnomah. 
And then the last game is Anchorage at Washington State. So we got some pretty good games for you guys coming on Saturday. Yep, yeah, this conference is a big deal. So we're trying to leave our mark. Yes. Unlike the American Conference, which was kind of nickel and dime here. That's not true, man. <laughs> we had some big co- non-conference games. Well, not Daytona. Right. Not Daytona State. That notwithstanding. Right. So, it's, yeah, interesting week one, I think, uh, and Colorado A&T as well. That's a big game that they got against Colorado. So we'll see all the results next week, and we'll see how all that shakes out. So Who you got? Give me which games? Uh, just go through all of them. What do you got? Colorado at Colorado A and T. All right, I'll go A and T. Give me, give me Texas. Give me Multnomah. Give me Army. Give me Anchorage upsets Wazoo. Wow. Give me. Uh, I'll take San Joaquin. Okay, that might be an upset special. I'm going to go with Colorado a and I think uh, Oladele Ocampo, Dusty, has a huge game against Colorado. Uh, the running back. Guys, I named him Odalele in the first name in the first game. That's not his first name, okay? It's Oladele. 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 Ocampo. Rocky Mountain State, give me them. Okay. Give me Rocky Mountain State. I think Nick Padgett goes off. I think he'll be close. For sure. Well, no mistake, we'll beat Arizona because they're not very good in this game. And then uh, I'm going to go with Army over Tacoma. I hate to do it because it's it's just Tacoma, and I want to pick them. Anchorage at Washington State, this one hurts. This one hurts me. But they're going at Washington State against Luke Falk's Cougars. I'm telling you, it's not that big of a deal. I, You're crazy. You're crazy. Okay. I'm going with Washington State, and then Fresno State at San Joaquin. Uh, I'll 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 go with you. Okay, I'll go with you. San Joaquin against Fresno. Hashtag Havelina Pride. Yes, they're gonna get the W. Yeah. So it'll be one of those low. It'll be low scoring. We get the W. <laughs> oh gosh, the Havelinas. What do I? I don't know what else to say about the Havelinas. There's not much to say. They just don't have a <laughs> good just... offense, but they. <laughs> Try to grind it out. Ricky Grammatico. Yes. Got to get it going. So, guys, that is it for this episode. Uh, See you Saturday. And go your teams. Go Mountain West. Go Mountain West. So, guys, leave a like if you like this thing. If you like Honolulu College beating Boise State, woohoo! And if you like Santa Fe State absolutely destroying interstate rival New Mexico, Mexico, leave a like. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like it and you love it, you want more of it, you know what you got to do. Hit that little red subscribe button or my logo to never miss an update on when these college football videos get posted. So, guys, see you next Saturday. We'll have the American Conference offseason episode as well. So, catch you then. Peace.